What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video we're going to be talking about events and outputs. So in previous videos, just to kind of have a brief overview of what we've done so far, we've had our list, which is our smart component, then we've had our detail, which is our dumb component. Dumb components are children of smart components, 99% of the time, never seen an instance where they weren't. So this is our smart, this is our dumb. We've talked about how to pass data down with input. Input is how, is how we pass data down. There's a two-way road in every single one of these new hip frameworks like Angular or Java. You're passing data down a tree from your smart components and your dumb components. And now we need to learn how to pass data up with our output. Think of the output and the input as the output is going to be what it's like a rocket ship which is going to send data and events up the tree. The input is like gravity. Input is for taking data down. And they're kind of just the way that they sound. Output is for out, sending, sending stuff up, out. You wouldn't think of out as sending something up. Input is going to be input. You're inputting data into a component. It's really not that, they're literally just the way that they sound. And I briefly outlined what is going to be the difference between input code and output code. And in the previous video, we went down. We went down the component tree. We had our state right here, and we passed it down with our property binding right here. And if this is confusing to you, please uh, check out the previous video. So we passed it down through here. Then we have our input, which is our detail. And then it showed in our detail. But now it's different. Now we need to take some type of event and in this one we're actually going to remove pokemon so the button right here is for removing and i'm actually going to write that down because there's nothing to really indicate that this button is for removing pokemon what we want to remove and in order to remove we have to take some type of input from the user and send it up the component tree and how do we do that well, the first thing is we have an event handler. This is an event handler. You can always tell an event handler because it has these little parentheses and it has some type of verb in here, whether you're removing or whether you are clicking, whatever you want to. And then you have some type of function that's going to act on the data. And we could just send this data in here and just remove it from the actual Pokemon detail right here but that's going to make our state um, mutable. We want to send this this event handler all the way up to the tr all the way up the tree and into our smart component. We could alter the state at it at the individual level, but we want to do we don't want to do that because that is going to mean the rest of our apps are not going to get this change. So we want to have make sure that we are sending this data all the way up the tree. So how do we do that? The first thing that we need to do is we need to attach on this handy little output right here. This handy little output is an attribute that's going to turn this um, property here that we just have into what's called a subject. You really don't need to understand what a subject is, but if I had to th give you just like a, a hack or just some type of easy way to remember it, it's the rocket ship. This is the rocket ship which is going to send this data, this event, to Mars. And this is a rocket ship. <laughs> it's, and it's going to, this right here, it's going to fire up its boosters and it's going to launch this data into our list component. And it's going to do so through here. This emit, this emit keyword, I accidentally went over the emit. Emit is going to be what is, ha the key you ever see in the movies when the three people have to have the key in order to launch the nuke this is what's going to actually launch the nuke into space and it's going to launch our our pokemon data into our next app so it goes up here it launches the data and then what it does is it lands up here so you may be wondering well teddy like i don't understand like what is this and Look at the similarity between this and this. This is where you just have to kind of forge the relationship of what's happening. Right here and right here, 
is going to be where the event handler is emitted. And essentially, it's going to turn this Pokemon that we just sent up through the emit into the handle remove. And another, so here, this will hopefully solidify everything. So we pass this as an event right here. And if you look very carefully, what is being passed here is the Pokemon. So we are essentially passing this data object all the way up into our actual handle remote, which will actually send it into this chunk of code right here to actually be deleted off of our actual state. We are mutating the state at the actual source of truth. But here is another important aspect. And you may be wondering, well, Teddy, why don't you just reach in there? Why do we have to do all this fancy filter stuff and do all of this right here? The reason that we do that is for state immu immutability. You want your state to be immutable. You don't want to reach into this array and just blow it off right here. You want to actually create your own array and you want to mutate it within this function, return it, and you don't want to touch this stuff in here. And the best analogy, it's kind of like a weird analogy, but you need to think of your state, which is actually your API or data, is a very um, precious source of data. It is data that is, it's um, like some kind of sacred text. You don't, you need a certain source of truth. If you had some kind of sacred text, you don't want everybody to be able to edit the sacred source of text because what if you had to go back and reference it? You would have to, your whole entire document would be so edited that you could never be able to distinguish like this is the ultimate source of truth. And that's pretty much the whole entire idea of it. And we are going to actually go in here and start coding this thing. So the first thing that we want to do is let's just go ahead into our detail here and go in and create an actual button so that we can send this event up. So we're gonna go click, we're gonna go in here and we'll, we'll just say, you can name this whatever, but we're going to do this as on remove. So we got on remove right here, and we're going to say remove Pokemon. Very simple. And it's going to give us, TypeScript's gonna scream at us because it's saying there's nothing in the actual code behind where this function actually exists. So we need to actually go in and create it. Go, go down here, we're gonna go on remove, this dot remove, dot emit, and let's actually go up here and create our output. So we're gonna go up here, we're going to create our output. So output, if I can type today. So Okay, so we import that. Then we're gonna go up here, we're gonna go remove. We're gonna bring in our event emitter. You really don't need to know that much about event emitters. Um, there's a lot going there. It's basically a subject or it's an observable underneath the hood. If you really want to learn more about this, um, build your own observable pattern and you will quickly understand how observables work. And that might be actually be a video that I will make one day. It's an observable pattern. So here, now we want to pass in our Pokemon object. So this is the actual thing that we are going to pass up into the uh, component above. So let's see here. So we've already got that. The next thing that we want to do is we want to go into our actual um, HTML inside of our Pokemon list and code up the actual event. So we're gonna go up here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have remove and we're going to have this handle remove so handle remove, and we're going to go pass in our event. It's Pokemon detail. Now we need to actually code up what's going to do the actual removal of the Pokemon. And what we will do is we will go in here below our constructor. So we're gonna go handle remove. Then we are going to pass in the event and for type checking and for learning sake, just so that people kind of know what's going on. 
we're going to make sure that we have type checking for this actual Pokemon. So we're gonna have this dot Pokemons is equal to this dot Pokemons dot filter here. And then we're gonna go in here, we're gonna have Pokemon and our type is going to be of Pokemon. Go in here. And what we're going to do is we are going to return a new array of Pokemon.id does not equal to the event ID. And this is what's actually going to return this and do, do the actual removal. So it's essentially going to check. And if it doesn't have the actual Pokemon ID, it's going to exclude it. We could just go in here. This would be a terrible way of doing this, but we could just go pokemon dot uh like what if you just went in here and tried to delete it directly that would be a terrible way because you are actually like i said that is state mutability you are actually modifying the sacred you know sacred text of your state in your app and if you do too many edits like that and your state is way too mutable and you can you allow people to just edit your single source of truth, what will happen is you won't be able to distinguish your actual single source of truth from anything else in your app will get really messed up. So always make sure that you're not mutating the state directly. Otherwise you're going to have a lot of problems. So we should be good to go. So we're gonna go up here. We're gonna go ng serve and let's just see if our, we can actually delete our Pokemon. So we go up here. Let me make sure, so compiled successfully. And Pikachu is not cool. We want to remove Pikachu because Pikachu is not cool. So we go, oh shit, uh, I forgot something. Um, <clears throat> what you want to do, because our uh, Pokemon is all ones, we want to add to, we want to make sure these IDs are different accidentally made all the pokemon ids the same so you want to go in here and make sure that they're different because if they're all the same it will filter them out by the id and it will filter out all of them so that's why that happens so we go in here we're gonna go my app make sure that we have a fresh page here we're going to remove pikachu pikachu is not cool we're going to remove him and boom our uh event worked we are not mutating our single source of truth or passing events up the state tree and slowly but surely we are learning React at an architectural or uh, Angular at an architectural level. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.